All right, guys, big time from WSAT here. So this tutorial, I want to design this um, productivity dashboard where it is for your screen here. So we grab this design from Behance and this designer, Roman, now I run the design. So check out the guy portfolio so that you'll see more interesting designs for the guy done. I'll leave a um, link to the guy portfolio to the, for the description of this, my video. So when you shall go use HTML and CSS and take tidy the whole of this design. So um, these assets where they are now, these um, icons are the rest, I don't get access to them. So probably we're not going to use exactly, but I already create other icons that are already similar so that we we'll follow along now to achieve this design. So this design is not going to be responsive design, but I will use um, Tailwind CSS grid system just to make some things they much more easier as we do tidy the level they go like that you get so anyhow shall we'll just install the things we will need so i'm going to use um my normal um editor or these are my tutorials now vs code so i advise to use vs code with me but if you not use vs code no wala you see follow along then for a live server i will use vit to do live server and um to write our css i will use um sas so we use sas to write the css now so that i go compile to our normal vanilla um css files all right so i might just install the things we will need so i'll go open my terminal here for vs code i'll go initialize um npm so npm init y okay so don't get package adjacent so things we'll need to install um npm not just my core okay npm install those dev dependence we we'll install um sas we we'll install tail when css post css what's a prefix uh, then Vits. Okay. So why this things they install? We use all right. So why is it install now? Go go grab the font so I want to run this um particular tutorial. So the font we use on this comb sans and you see I'd already select the ones we need here. So if you just come um google fonts i'll leave the links of google fonts for this um tutorial too so if you just come google font now you type this comb sans then select this one so I, I select here so um two ways to import either we'll use our link or we'll use the import here so i'll just copy through the import i don't use the link i'll copy the import then i'll go paste down for inside um main.css sorry main.css i'll paste down here all right so our package is not installed now okay one two three four five all right so the package will need to install so first thing more we'll generate the config files now for tailwind css if you go to their website they will show you how to generate i'm sure but we generate this post CSS and config.js and tailwind.config.js. So to do that, I'll just call my terminal. I'll type um, npx um, tailwind CSS init p. Okay, so it says that crystal file post CSS and tailwind.config.css. So I just come to where we'll get the config dot um tailwind config dot js here. I'll copy out this particular code. I'll paste them for inside the tailwind here, config dot js. So I'll paste them. Then okay, these are codes. Then this thing supposed to it's supposed to um it's supposed to point to a source folder. So since we now get that source folder, now, the, the, uh, that is the project folder now. So since we now get the source folder here now, according to their own example, 
we will point out our own files here so i'll just delete from this point out okay so i'll just delete from this point out now then i'll save so my configure vit for the live server so to do that i'll select the test i'll type um dev then we'll select this ones here put vit that comma we need to do wash sas so that our sas will compare to normal um css style sheets so to do that i'll put sas wash css slash main that scss to css slash main that css all right so now that this one i'll create a css file here i'll call up tailwind tailwind dot css that exists oh generate so i did not create them before self but anyway, shall, if you not get this file I just create tailwind the css then you see this thing so let's see inside here if you come this place now the main css now just copy everything where you see here then you paste them inside here so that you get access to all the tailwind um, css classes all right so we'll don't do that one so i'll just link them so i'll link um tailwind css then we'll link main.css so currently main.css not the end now but by the time we compile something from our main.css now the file go appear here so we'll just test if this one even works if so body background color red okay then um i go watch for sas here first npm run wash sas okay sas will not type something correctly all right so this will be um scss okay so we'll run them again all right so we'll not compile them so see what we'll compile now see i say it they come out now so sas the work then we'll test vit whether vit they work to then we'll test it with css then we'll go enter inside our tutorial properly so i'll just um create a new terminal here npm run dev okay so you see the run for instance lookout is 3000 so let me this one here all right so you see i see it i'll show you that means vit the work <coughs> that shop <coughs> come on you us now all right sorry guys so um no utilities were generated this is likely the problem of content can take over my function blah 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 I'm not sure say it's also supposed to be an issue. Well, it should be an issue, but you're not gonna affect us at least for this story. So uh um, more test if tail in CSS the come out where so I'll just put H1. So by default they get a browser reset. So we're not going to put all this our reset um the CSS all these are format tutorials. So just type hello world. So if you reset now, nah, I'm gonna see it's in the confirm okay so this thing resets so more we'll test if their classes they work so inside i just put um text on to xl all right it work so tailwind the work now 
Look what Intel said about tutorial properly. Okay. So that one for the installation part. And then one more thing. You see these files, eh? This mixings and these variables. These variables now we use for the um, tutorial. See the colors here. So I still need to add another one. I'll just put a um, main font. So this main font now will be this comb sans here. This one you see. So, so I just copy here. Now we use the tutorial. Okay, then um, this is our mixing file. We could likely put any code on no one duplicates. We get to go put up the mixing files, then we just include our main dot CSS. We get I'm not to go really advanced for the CSS stuff, just some um minor things because our meeting just did more maybe made it beginner friendly at least for people who like not to know about um SAS. Even if you're good, just create a um, crash course on SCS. So this is another one before this for another one before for this my for this my channel. So um this is my voice but I say look I increase this volume. Alright so um now more import mixings and these variables dot scss to our uh, main dot scss here so this is what i just put um at import variables dot scss then mixings dot scss all right so now for the design more we'll inside what we'll do now yeah? we'll create a wrapper div to wrap every single thing inside here then we'll create two sheets for the wrapper divs one will be the side now why the other one with the content so that content here eh, then go carry every single thing where they the whole dashboard from all these uh, um rules statistics charts and this profile where it's gonna here so all of them go different the content so we'll just create that one now so for my html here i'll just type um wrapper then i'll create a div i'll call them side nav so inside the side nav we'll create the logo an image asset slash logo.png then underneath the side now we'll create um another class we'll call on content all right so we'll leave content for now so underneath the logo let's see first Okay, the logo they come out. So underneath the logo, we'll create um a nav to carry that our uh, navigation where they decide here. So so create a nav. So this nav I'll call on um menu. Then under that list, list item, and inside the list item now we'll get an anchor tag. So the anchor tag will carry the image. So this image now gonna be that icon already there. So since I use PNG files, I'll just use an uh, image to color. I thought um, some icons most likely supposed to be SVG, but you know it will get access to. So we'll go manage it like that. So for the first one, the icon is shot dot PNG. I did here. Yeah. So I'll just duplicate everything here down to how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so duplicate that seven times. And if it is Emmet, feature do li times. Okay, I don't create one to put seven again times six. And cut uh, inside the uncut will get img. All right. So 
So now inside this image, I just put assets slash folder dot png. Mm, it's all in the folder. The second one uh calendar. Then the fourth one docket the fifth shot the sixth go be donuts while the last one are settings okay so see all of that appear here so now quickly move start to style this level now so what i'll do I'll come at my main.scss here. HTML global font size will be um 16 pixel. Then body background color will be background white. Then the font family. Be main font. All right. So now I will target the wrapper here. So this wrapper display will be flex because we want um this um uh, navigation and this content I made this side by side. So we'll give the display as flex. Then underneath the wrapper, we'll target the side nav. So the side nav will set the width to 110 pixel. Then border right could be two pixel solid lighter gray. Okay, mind this for you now. So, so the next thing we need to target the logo. So this logo will set margin bottom to five em. Then. Five em, then margin zero. Be margin or padding? Go use padding. Then go use padding. Two em zero. Let's see. Okay. So inside logo, we'll target the image. We'll set the height to 4 em. Then the margin will be 0 or 2. All right, so it's in the small now. So if we inspect this thing now, so it's the apple now. So they use padding as if they push them down small. You get from the logo side here. Yeah. Why the image now? Would they use this margin auto now to make sure we center the logo now to this bar or this um, side now? Avoid it here now. So we'll work on these uh, navigations here. Hmm. So now. We'll go target the menu. Mm. Logo. We'll target the menu then inside the menu get UL list item then we'll set margin 
bottle now for each of the list items now to 3.6 em to space them out from each other then we'll target the anchor tag inside the anchor tag we'll get image we'll set the anchor tag um, display to block position relative then we we'll target the height of the image which is the icons to 1.7 em <clears throat> then we'll set margin to zero auto and filter to grayscale one all right so now most it will get okay so you see what will get currently now all i show gray the reason we say by default everything here are gray but if they hover on the icon i just now that another the um color go show properly now make could make and gray and if you see another thing get active states meaning if now this first um item now the active if now this first item they're active now you see the border the corner ah, you see the misbehave you see the border the border the corner here this um bar where the sun is here so so if now this particular section are the active this thing will show you if now this one they active now here now i got to show you get so we'll design this thing where they here so to design our one um inside our list item we'll give the list item the first one now we can be class of active so we'll give them a class of active then just um inside the anchor tag now after the image we'll create a span and we'll give a class stroke then inside the stroke now we'll create another span we'll give a class half okay so one will be the stroke why the other one will be the half where the inside so we'll see I will take tidy arm. So that I will do. I will target the stroke now. So the stroke the inside the anchor tag. So just after the image here, we target stroke. So the stroke now will give them height of um 1.7 em. Let me match the height of this image here. Then we we'll set the width to. We'll set it with a three pixel then border radius will be six pixel while background color could be dark the dark blue this is not dark blue so if i give a dark blue be like well, any I shall give a give dark blue. So set the position to absolute. Then right to be zero. So that could be glued to that right edge of the side nav. Then top could still be zero. We we'll set overflow to hidden. Okay, so now we'll see. So we'll not get this one here, which is a small bar. But now we need to get the half inside. So we'll target the half. So inside the stroke here now, we'll, we'll target the half. Then we'll set display to 
block y height could be 50 percent of the parent so 50 percent of this 1.7 em then the width suppose inherit then background color will be normal green why the position will still be absolute but this time you go the bottom so bottom zero see this here i don't know if it's in the show clearly must see for the camera okay all right so the show where yeah if we inspect this thing Off. okay all right so now um just we'll give the li a uh, class of active right so we don't want to do i want to say why this in the active we'll target the active class of the list item there so to target and i will use this and symbol now to target the active class so what is in the active now we won't target the anchor tag the image then we just set the filter grace scale to be zero Let's see. All right. So you see um, filter grayscale here zero. So meaning if we carry this active out from this class now, we paste them here. Now this can go there active. You get so this one suppose D done here to do that we we'll just we we'll need to create them to inside the second one mm. okay so we'll not get two here right so let me just say okay this one i'm going to show so what I would do here, um, I'll call my main dot CSS SCSS. I'll target the stroke, then I'll just put display none, right? Okay. Then I'll say while it is active, we'll target the stroke. okay we'll target the stroke then display block all right so you can see the work here now so meaning everything would be this um spanner it could be for all the other list items here but anytime where the active class did for any of this list item now that's an equity come up. So if we remove her from here now, we can come back to the first one. Assuming we select see and say the show here. So we don't tidy this um particular navigation. So we'll end this one here. Um the next tutorial we'll go over how to work on this search bar and our heading here in the time parameters. Go tidy this particular area. So, any asha, you know, it'd be now subscribe to the channel. I'll see you available from the big tank, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.